Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Angie and I'm a 19 year old mom of almost three. Um, I am still pregnant. Hence why we're doing this video today. Hence why you're watching this video. Because I'm still pregnant. I did not think I would be pregnant today. I thought for sure baby was coming today, but I was wrong. So now I'm filming this video for you guys. So, um, I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my hospital bag, the baby's hospital bag. Um, this is not for a hospital. This is for a birth center. I will be there for the time of my labor. And then after I give birth, I'm only there four hours postpartum. And then it's like kind of for an emergency if I go to the hospital. So I'll add some things that I wouldn't normally add just in case I end up being transferred to the hospital, which hopefully that won't happen. But yeah, this is what's in my hospital bag. I tried to keep it very, very minimal. There's still a few things I need to add. There's still last minute stuff that I can't put in there, which I'm gonna go over that first. I still need to add a comb. I haven't done that yet. But my camera equipment, my charger, my contacts, my glasses. I think that's it. I think that's everything I'll be adding into it. But other than that, I will show you guys what I have packed in it right now. This is the duffel bag I'm taking. Um, yeah. Uh, I also plan to pack like witch hazel spray or like spray that I can spray down there. Um, and I also want to pack some padsicles or I might just leave them home and use them when I get home. I don't know if I'll end up packing padsicles, but yeah. So first things first, we have my robe. I got this from Amazon and it is the softest, comfiest thing in the entire world. I love this thing. I literally, I've been wearing this for like three weeks or two weeks since the day I got it. I've been wearing it all the time, but I finally washed it today, folded it and put it in my hospital bag. Um, because I don't want it to be like dirty or something and go to give birth and be like, I don't have my favorite robe. <laughs> so yeah, I also plan on putting like a swimsuit top in here just because I will probably give birth in the water and I would just go all naked in the water and not have a swimsuit top, but we're going to have a birth photographer and I want some of the pictures to be for me to be covered. So I can like share some of the pictures if that makes sense and we will be recording as well so I'm going to get a swimsuit top for when I'm in the water so I just have these little things it has the little labels shampoo conditioner body wash lotion and this is just for after birth if I decide I want to shower because there's nothing like that shower right after you give birth it's just it's perfect you just feel like you're just cleansing it's just I just love the afterbirth shower so I may take one while I'm there I'm not sure but I packed those just in case this is my white nursing bra I will probably wear this and my robe and obviously some underwear or a diaper realistically um, for like all of my postpartum time while I'm there probably even drive home in it for being realistic so just my nursing bra it is very very comfy packed my comfiest pair of sweatpants, just in case I decide I want to wear clothes on the way home instead of just a robe. I also just packed like a really simple tank top. And I plan on packing like a sweater just because the weather's kind of been unpredictable. I thought it was just going to be hot, but I might get a little chilly. So I'll probably pack a sweater on top of that stuff. Postpartum underwear, which I don't need to show y'all. <laughs> and then... I got this Perry bottle. I bought it because um, in the hospital you get one, but my midwives don't give you one, so they have you get one. And I actually am really excited for this because it's one of those you just spray. You don't have to like tip it upside down. Like it's like just made for postpartum. So I got one of these. And then I got a pack of these. Actually, my mom bought me a pack of these because she knows how much I love them. 
But she got me a pack of these because I use them 24-7. I'll probably open the pack and put them in a little bag because... Um, I don't want to be in labor trying to open these or have somebody else open these and same with Ponytails I needed ponytails so bad. So I have both of these I'm gonna open them put them in a little baggie or whatever just that way So I don't have to be trying to open them while I'm in labor. So got those and Then I got My big boy overnight diapers and I'm going to open these and make myself like a little um, postpartum basket for when I get home and put like my um, put these in there and then put like the spray or the witch hazel pads or whatever I decide to use and put some of these in there. Um, so I won't be taking this whole pack with me, obviously, but it was just a pack. So I just kind of threw it in my bag. So that's like the majority of what I'm bringing for me. It's honestly not a ton of stuff. I brought a ridiculous amount last time um so yeah i just really didn't want to do this this time i have another pair of joggers a sweater like a few other clothing items that i might add just in case i do get transferred because i would like to have stuff at the hospital and then my husband will also be throwing an outfit in here um, because last time i ended up like projectile vomiting top to bottom all over him so he will be packing an extra outfit just in case i decide to get my bodily fluids all over him again so yeah next up this is the diaper bag i went super simple with the baby stuff as well i just packed a pack of wipes doubt i'm gonna use them a few diapers also doubt i will use them while i'm there but I figured you might as well have them. I packed my nose Frida. I also don't think I'm going to use this, but I figured why not just pack it. Just just throw it in there just in case, right? So I packed a little passy because my hope is to get baby on the passy. Hopefully we can get baby to take a passy. Um, and I like to introduce it right away, so. So I packed it and then I just packed this swaddle it's just like an extra swaddle um, that's not like the one we will be specifically using but I figured why it might as well have to just in case stuff gets on it but then I am packing my kite baby little sleeper thing softest thing I washed it and it's ready to go it's size newborn and I'm just so excited to put baby in it. This is what baby will be coming home in. So I packed that and then I packed baby's rainbow copper pearl swaddle that we got. Um, literally the cutest thing. I love this. Uh, and then I packed a white bow for pictures in case it is a girl if it's not a girl then we won't use this obviously but figured might as well pack it and then if anything happens to the kite baby outfit i brought my little sun outfit because this is baby sunrise obviously so this is the outfit that i also packed i might actually like put the baby in both of these for pictures i don't know We'll see. I don't even know if we'll be taking pictures at the birth center. We might end up taking them at home. So, yeah. And then the only other thing that's going to go in this bag is um, the two name announcement signs. Uh, just in case we decide to take those pictures at the birth center. Which we might because we'll have our photographer there. Um, so... We might end up taking those pictures at the hospital. But it'll be like the signs with... The baby's names on them their circle obviously i'm not going to show them but that's what else will be in this bag so yeah again i tried to not go to overboard this time um there's probably things i will continue to add but i didn't want to add too much stuff for baby just because i feel like i overpacked last time 
and the time before. So I tried not to like add too much stuff this time. I figured two outfits, two blankets for plenty because we're going to be there for four hours. So yeah. And I don't think I'm going to pack like a car seat cover or anything like that, but um, yeah. So that is what I am packing and bringing with me to the birth center. I just literally want to throw all my last minute stuff in there and zip them up and go right now. Like I just, I just want to get birth right now, but I'm not. So in the meantime, these bags are almost finished. There's just last minute things, but yeah. Um, I don't recommend like underpacking, but I would not overpack either. I feel like I just had so much stuff last time. I didn't really end up using like 90% of it because I just had too much stuff. So this time I'm trying to take it a little, little less. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys liked this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and make sure to comment something down below. And hopefully the next video I'm making for you guys will be baby is here our labor and delivery vlog something so yeah but i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one